Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I'm doing a flip through of my third Just Junk journal. I'm so excited about this. Um, this one is a little bit more colorful than the last two that I did. If you did not see the other two, um, I'll try to remember to link the, um, you know, put the links below. But let me get right into it, okay? So um, I did make another video where I showed you some of the raw material that I was going to use for this. Um, and I mentioned that I was using a calendar, a 2018 calendar, and also um, that I really loved the, the cover of the calendar, but I didn't feel it was sturdy enough. So I found this plastic cover. I bound it with just um, embroidery floss. And this was uh, from a broken bracelet. I did a little bit of macrame here at the end because I actually made the string too long and then I backtracked and uh, I had already glued this at the bottom. So it, it actually turned out really cute, I think, with that little macrame bit. Okay, so as you can see, this has a clear cover and that is just to protect this because this is just the light card from the cover of the magazine. This is just clipped here because I'm not sure if I want to put this on here or if I want to leave it plain because I actually like it like that. I like, love the picture with the colorful parasols like that. Um, but I was thinking maybe um, it says here, color your world. And it said 2018 calendar up here, so I just covered that with some green paper from the calendar. So I might glue that here as like... A, title uh, but I'm, I'm not sure that's why I just have it clipped here for now all right let me see how quickly I can do this all right so getting in here um, I made this little notebook out of composition paper and this is a window uh, security envelope which I just you know cut as the cover for this and then you know when you write in here you can you know see through there and that is just stapled in and this is a little piece of this fan that I, well, it was broken and I, you know, cut a little piece of it just to give it a little bit more color. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not, I'm still learning to embellish. I, I'm a little bit of a minimalist still because, um, yeah, I just finished watching, um, actually she's still going on, I think, Julie sharing her embellishment ideas and I'm really learning a lot from her, but I got to put it into practice. <laughs> okay, so this is a little, uh, again, this was an envelope. I just glued it in here. And there's another little book in here. The cover is from a magazine page. They're actually chairs. There was an article about sitting down, but I just liked the color. So I just made it into another little book with coffee dyed composition book paper. And that is stuck in here. So there's a couple of writing spaces right there. All right, and then the this is a pocket. This was at the bottom of the red section. Now, I didn't use the entire calendar. I just used the primary page, the red, blue, and uh, yellow, which are the primary colors. This was um, uh, a piece of um, advertisement inside a magazine where you can send in a card. I just covered the back with a uh, plain uh, card, and I covered where it said, you know, mail this in or whatever. And I thought we meet again was kind of cute to put on there. So piece of the envelope, see there. And I included this because I actually finished this journal yesterday. And that's the date on here. And I have this uh, calendar that I've been using from the Dollar Tree. It's a inspirational quote calendar. And it says, I have yet to find the man, however exalted his station, who did not do better work and put forth a greater effort effort under a spirit of approval than under a spirit of criticism. And I really liked this quote for this because this um, Dear Julie Julie's Facebook group and just the entire community has been so supportive and, you know, giving each other approval, uh, you know, as we share our junk journals. And I think that's actually helping us to do, you know, better work. So anyway, just glued that up there. So I'll just flip through really quick. So that's a pocket. On this side, I glued a piece of avocado dyed paper that was left over from the previous project and more avocado paper, more of that fan. These are cards made out of um, tissue boxes. 
And they're, again, they're very plain, um, not embellished, but they have a writing space in the back. I just stick them here. This was another piece of advertisement from Junk Mail. The back, it was pink. I covered some of the writing. My one punch that I used was the same one I used. I had some of these left over from the other journal that I made, so I just used them throughout here. And that's the only punch that I used. This is a tuck spot right here. And again, this was a piece of packaging. I covered it with the flag and with a soldier there. It's blank in the back. These pages were from my son's planner, and I just cut off the month. I didn't want that to distract him from, you know, the journal. This is another piece of packaging. It's lighter weight. This here silver part on the side is cream cheese wrapper that I had washed, and I'm liking using it. It just adds a little bit of a different texture. <laughs> so it's not silver, but it's got like this kind of, um, you know, creamy sheen to it though it's clean though it is clean i washed it <laughs> okay more from the planner these are just little strips from the calendar there more of this punched out like paper lace there and this was more of the composition book but i folded it so that it had some pockets the magazine that i used was a prevention magazine man those little magazines are little they're like smaller than this but they have a lot of cool pictures in there. So that's the magazine I used. I like that water. So if you can see, the, the colors kind of go from red. Like this was the red section. Not really red. And it kind of fades into blue. Like the purple. This purple is between the red and the blue, which makes purple. That's kind of my logic behind this. It's not, you know, perfect. But um, it kind of goes along those lines. Again, this is a piece of tissue box. I just backed it with some coffee dyed paper, and this is the blue section. Okay, love the flamingos. On the back of this page, I glued a piece of, um, this is a, like a big manila folder, it was actually also junk mail. And um, let's see, inside here I just have a card. My son's starting to get college information, and that's from one of the colleges that sent him information. And that's a little paper clip, which is I used to do my binding. And in here I have just some more off cuts from the, from the calendar that I did not use um, entirely. You'll see some of this later in the journal, but these are the pieces I didn't use, but I thought I might use them in this journal later. Um, and I, I was thinking of like gluing something over that worn out piece of the envelope but I haven't done it yet I probably will do that later and the word secrets I thought was fitting here because it's stuff you know hiding in that envelope so I have that there this is another piece of the um, calendar but it's on top of a gold I don't know if you can tell it's a gold piece of um, it was the bottom part of the packaging from uh, Hershey's Kisses box <clears throat> and um, this part had all the writing on it with the calories and all that stuff that I didn't want to keep. So I just glued this in here, and this is folded over for a little pocket. Little owl from the magazine. That's from the magazine, too. It's colorful food, you know, sweet potatoes. <laughs> okay. This is some packaging for some socks, and I just thought it was funny. It said St. Patrick's Socks. And I found the word real, and so now it says St. Patrick's Real. <laughs> and it's just a little piece of packaging. This is from the back of the calendar. That's the little... This is actually this picture, but in, you know, the thumbnail of the picture. Again, more cream cheese um, wrapper that is glued onto a piece of card. Another word. This is really cool. So this is the yellow page, and it says, you know, has that pocket. This... Um, was packaging from a um, a little tape dispenser that one of my students gave me when I was teaching. And I just thought it was so pretty with, you know, the colors that I kept it. And it was actually folded like this already. And this, like it had the folds here from the packaging. And when I looked at it, it looked like a matchbox, matchbook to me. So I went ahead and cut some papers to fit in, in here and made a little matchbook notebook in here and I cut this bottom part along some of the shapes there 
And then I just glued that little piece of that little picture there just to add some focal point on it. And there's that. I really like that little matchbook notebook there. Okay. And this is a tuck spot down here. That's another page from the Prevention Magazine. And a bigger picture of the owl. That's just back on the card. This was another piece of packaging. And these little flowers I um, were like the paper that showed what stickers were. So it was basically sticker packaging. And so I, you'll see some of these throughout. I cut them up and put them in here. So this was packaging had some writing where the flowers are now. So it's just kind of really plain. But I just kind of liked it like that. Another piece of... Um, if you uh, you saw the other the other journal I made for a glue book had a lot of this paper in it. This was a little piece that was left over, and I kind of liked the torn edge there, so I kept it like that. Some more of the planner paper and the uh, punch out. Now this metal is really cool because my son's planner came with this this page at the end. It had holes, you know, on this side. See, here's a little piece of the hole right there. Now, can you see it? A little piece of the hole. So it was three holes, so you could put it in a binder. And it was, I guess, to put your, I don't know, do they even use the skets anymore or little whatever. So these were the pockets that were there. So I just bound it in this book this way. And in this pocket here, I'm not going to take it out, but you can see through, is the game page from the Prevention Magazine. Here's uh, right here, which is at the end. And these two pages were the games, and then the answers are right there on the bottom. And then these are just little cards. Again, I made just out of a piece of this packaging and some more of the sticker packaging. And this is another image from the Prevention Magazine, backed onto some card, uh, which is packaging from um, like labels, like you buy labels for your printer. That's what the, a lot of that white card is, the packaging for that. Okay, more of the planner on the back. Again, another piece from the Prevention Magazine. And then this was the back of the calendar with some of the images that I just backed up onto paper. And this paper had been written on on the other side, but that's okay. So that's in there. This is cool. So this is the other side of the uh, that paper, that uh, kind of wrapped packaging paper. And this right here is on the other part of the tissue box which it you know that's where it folded and so I just glued it there and then stuck some more paper here and made it a little flip out see it even still says Kleenex I was thinking of covering that with something but I didn't get around to it so it's just there then I had the word life and solutions and it kind of says life solutions maybe I'll write about that stuff in here this fat cat I thought was hilarious so I had to have him in here and his shape just lent itself to a little you know, corner tuck. Uh, so there he is. <laughs> and then this was from um, from some from a sample book, a wallpaper sample book. It was an image on there, but it's kind of cardstock. So I just glued uh, some more paper on this side and made it into just a little folder or a little note folder there. And there it is. The other part of the yellow page. The other part of the card. And it's got the um, uh, cream cheese wrap. And then this part of the orange was on, uh, I glued it to card and um, made it a little corner tuck there. And this was another piece from the calendar. I kind of like that. Lots of room for writing here. Here's the other part of the kisses. And I just covered the words here and put a uh, little family there, which I thought is appropriate. You know, you kiss your family, right? <laughs> and then on this side, I just like this so clever. <laughs> a little snow angel and a little girl in a swing. I thought that was cute. It's just backed onto card. Both images are from the Prevention Magazine. The one Prevention Magazine, that little magazine had all these little images in it. That's also from the magazine. I backed it with some paper, and what did I put in here? Oh, these recipes I actually thought were really good from the magazine, so I kept them. These pages are the whole, well, there's that ad, but these pages have some really good, like, one dish or sheet pan recipes, so just kept those in there for now, okay, and a lot of room here to do whatever with. And I glued it on the side so that this is another pocket, and here I just put some more junk, I think. Yeah, so here I just put some more junk that um, 
I was thinking about using but didn't get around to, but that I might use, you know, to further work in here uh, now that I'm done with the basics. Love this, this area here with the blue, the word calm, the blueberries from the magazine. This piece of card uh, from the calendar backed onto, you know, packaging. And I love this. This is an, another part of that security envelope. And it's just cut into a little, like, envelope shape like that. And I just think it's really cute in there. Very simple. And the more writing space. Another security envelope. You can see a little bit, see through here a little bit. And in here is kind of like a double tag. There's this tag which this piece is from Tissue Box. This was already like this in this card, which is green. This was packaging for a doily, you know, like an old doily. And it had this here, had some stuff written up there that I cut. And then I glued this to cover what else it said in there. See, like it still has writing in there. Can you see it? I can't see it, but so this covers that writing. It's from a tissue box. And then this is another piece from the... Um, calendar backed on card and I just have that tucked in there so it's like a tag in a tag <laughs> a tag in a tag in a pocket <laughs> so there we go so this has like calm health balance kind of that theme going on here a little bit of green okay the other side of the envelope and it opens up like this a little more of that punch out lace and that the sticker packaging and this is from the book. I was just covering the month down there. And I just thought that was cool since this section seems to be about health and stuff. The other part of the planner. The part of the packaging. Okay, so um, this was a little piece of card that um, I didn't use the Real Simple magazine. I used the card. It was one of these cards that come inside a magazine for Real Simple. So I don't know if that's cheating as far as using more than one type of magazine but it wasn't the actual magazine it was just the card that came inside of it that I had separated out before so there's that and the colors and this is from the prevention magazine just a picture of some cars and this is from some coffee packaging from the envelope and this is actually another piece another large envelope that on this side you didn't even see that it was an envelope but it was this so this is the other part of the envelope here, and on this side it's here, and you can kind of see how it was, I, you know, when I peeled it off, this is up there, okay? And this is another piece of um, coffee dyed, or avocado dyed paper that opens up like this, and I got this uh, envelope in here, and I just stuck some more coffee dyed lined paper in here. Um, and it says secrets. So there's a bigger secrets here. So I just stuck it in there again because it's folded all the way in there. <laughs> okay. And on the back side, and I glued that to this part of the calendar. And that's the back. And the back has this part, which was another piece of packaging for something or other, some craft supply. And I just stuck, stuck some of the words. And this is also from the Prevention Magazine. A little tiny journaling card backed onto some more label packaging stack of books I thought that was appropriate and this I mean I know I know it's just lungs <laughs> but the colors I mean it's so like red white and blue so you know vibrant I I just had to include it I just backed it onto card and stuck it in here and this is the back cover and again you know this this piece of um, uh, plastic packaging all around it and I love this book so the string is long enough to if you come across the front first and just wrap it around twice one two and then you just tuck this through here it closes really nicely that way and there's plenty of room to you know let it get fat and you can still wrap this around like that so that is my third journal this is a colorful one i was been watching julie's the one she's been working on and I guess I was inspired by that one because this, I mean, it's not the same, but obviously, but it kind of has a little bit of that colorful feel to it, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I love it. I, I like, um, you know, it's not super embellished, um, but I have plenty of room to work in it and embellish it. So 
I'm happy about it. What did you think? Um, love to hear your feedback, so let me know. And uh, since I have nothing more to say, I'll just say, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.